This video is about developing learning progressions. The goal of this video is to help you understand that learning progressions create opportunities for students to engage in learning tailored to their level and to help you be able to create a learning progression that supports instruction. As we go through the video, I'll pause and ask you to try some of these things on your own so that you have the opportunity to work um, towards independence with learning progressions. The first step of writing a good learning progression is to determine a learning target. Most of the time, that learning target is a standard or a combination of standards that make sense together. Sometimes, though, students will come in having difficulty with a particular skill or concept, and it will be important to write a learning progression for that because students come in at varying levels and you know they're going to struggle with that. Um, so you can also um, do learning progressions for skills and concepts as well as standards and combinations of standards. Take a minute to pause the video and come up with a standard or com combination of standards, skill or concept that you think your students may need a little more support on and write that down. After you have determined the learning goal, the next part is to unpack that standard or skill. So, if you choose to develop a learning progression around a standard, it's important to unpack that standard and really understand the big ideas and performance levels that that standard requires for your grade level that you're trying to teach. The RIO method to your right is a great way to look at that by identifying verbs, nouns, and modifiers within the standard. It also helps you, if you're combining standards, to look at two standards at once and then make some connections at the bottom between those two standards. If you're looking to unpack a skill or a um, concept, sometimes it helps to write out all of the things that you're expecting from that skill or concept at your grade level expectation. Take a minute to unpack the standard that you've chosen or to take a closer, deeper look at the skill or concept that you will be creating a learning progression for. After you have chosen a learning target and unpacked, the next step is to identify the current expectations for mastery of that learning target. When you're developing a learning progression, you always want to start with the mastery stage. So what are those grade level expectations and what are the expectations that you have for those students in terms of mastery? This can be called level three or a practitioner if you're determining a learning progression using that language. Take a minute to break down and write down what are your grade level expectations for mastery of the skill concept or standard that you're breaking down. After you have developed a good understanding for the mastery level, take a look at the standard and the building blocks that students would have to have to work toward that mastery. So sometimes this is the expectations of the previous grade level or prerequisite skills that your students will need in order to obtain mastery of that skill standard or concept. Take a minute now to think about and write down those building blocks that will get your students moving toward mastery. The next step would be to think about 
what would make my students not just a master of this skill, concept, or standard, but what would make them an expert? So this is beyond mastery. When you're trying to think about these things, consider what thinking and understandings do my students need to apply or transfer from this skill, concept, or standard? And how could my students go deeper in their understanding? So really think hard about ways that your students might dig deeper into this skill, concept, or standard. Pause now and try to create a level four or expert level for your progression. After you have created the expert level, now we need to think about those foundational skills. This would be level one or the novice level. What are some of those expectations that are two grade levels prior to your current grade level? And if you don't have two grade levels below, what are some of those foundational skills that all students will need in order to be successful for mastery? So what are those base level understandings? that students may be missing in working toward mastery. Take a minute now to develop your level one or novice level of your learning progression. Finally, once you've developed those levels, and the progression, the basic progression um, for working toward that standard, consider how that progression might look. What meets the needs of your students the best? This is a primary version of a learning progression. It's broken down into I can statements at a very minimal level, showing each small step in the path to making it to that final mastery. Here, is an example of a more intermediate or secondary example of what a learning progression might look like for your students. So it identifies that big idea that we're trying to get students to understand and it has it set up in um, a table example just like the one we described in the beginning. So older students may be able to work through a progression and look in a particular level not at those individual tiny pieces on the way. One other way to look at this is to look at an entire concept and develop the learning progression along the way for every single piece that students would need in order to develop towards that mastery. So this is an example from an education leadership um, article and it explains the building blocks for area measurement. So really in reflection on the entire learning progression process, it's really important to think about the fact that no learning progression is the learning progression. You have to consider your students, their needs, and how they make it to mastery and develop learning progressions that will make sense for them as learners and for you as their teacher. You can put it in any way that makes sense to you, but this is a great guide in the initial development of learning progressions. As you get more comfortable, you can also um, adjust that in, and make it a little bit more of your own throughout time. The next part of this video is going to show you some great resources from Washington County Public Schools that would aid you in developing learning progressions for specific standards.